Hi all, well, very very happy evening to each one of you. Welcome to Anil Nair Classes YouTube channel. Welcome to ANC YouTube channel. I hope everybody is doing well. In this special class, I will be discussing some of the doubts asked by a student related to a topic simplification. 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 Kindly reply in the live chat if any audio issues are you facing. Any streaming issues are you facing. Kindly reply. Kindly everybody kindly reply it in the live chat. <laughs> are you able to see the screen? Everybody are you able to see the screen? Kindly reply everybody. Right. So once we start the class, we will go for a two hours continuous non-stop problem solving. <coughs> now for all the students, IBPS PO 2020 notification was out yesterday. IBPS PO. 2020 notification was out exam preliminary examination will happen in the third fourth and 11th of october november 28th mains examination is going to happen simplification very very important topic right extremely important topic i want each and every viewer to kindly reply it in the live chat in case if you are facing any audio issues or streaming issues, audio issues or streaming issues, then immediately we will start the class. I hope you are not facing any audio issues or streaming issues. Simplification, extremely important. Class, a lot of shortcuts we are going to discuss it in today's class. Now, in case if you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us in Facebook Anil Nair classes. In whatever that you are preparing for, I wish as a mentor, I wish as an Anil Nair classes institute which helps students to make their dreams come true. I wish each one of you more and most in every walk of your life. Now, simplification. Now, listen carefully. In case if you are watching this video without watching simplification session 1 and session 2, please go back after the class, watch simplification session 1 and simplification session number 2. Almost each session is of 1 hour, all new problems, new set of problems. Kindly watch these simplification session number 1 and simplification session number 2 which is present in our YouTube channel. Which are present in our YouTube channel. All are new problems. I will just revise it for one minute then I will straight away get into the problem solving. Today instead of seeing the traditional method of solving the problem, traditional method of solving the problem you will see Anil Nair's way of solving the problem Anil Nair's way of solving the problem we will emphasize more on this way of solving rather than this way of solving again I am repeating students who are seeing the simplification session number three I advise you strongly to go back and see simplification session number one and simplification session number two from today onwards there will be a lot of recorded lectures uploaded to the enrolled students portal and few recorded lectures will be uploaded in our YouTube channel. So, I am back to full form. Right. Now, we will discuss what are all the things that we discussed. A small recap we will do. A recap of all the concepts. 
whenever you are solving simplification related problems whenever you are solving simplification related problems this is the flow chart that you need to follow especially students who are preparing for cat and other management examination attend the entire lecture you will understand right unique way of solving not only arithmetic number system but a variety of questions through a prism that you have never seen before what is the first step step number one see the answer options if the unit digit is different see the answer options if the unit digits are different if all the answer options unit digits are different go with the unit digit logic if more than one answer option unit digit if it is the same use the last two digits logic check if answer options contains same last two digits if probably none of the answer option has got the same last two digits then go by the last two digits logic then use the digital sum logic then use the digital sum logic then use the digital sum logic step number four if more than one answer option has got the same digital sum then use the speed calculations shortcuts tricks and concepts so that you can minimize your time this is the flow chart that you need to follow first check whether the answer options have got the same unit digit or not if all the answer options have got a different unique unit digit go with this logic same concept holds good for last two digits if all the answer options have got different last two digits go with this one same thing for digital sum step number four calculations now in between you can also use the concept of divisibility rule divisibility rules divisibility rules if you know all these concepts then you can save a lot of time now always remember number three concept needs to be used whenever the context arises number three even plus even it is even even into even it is even odd into odd it is odd odd number into odd number it is an odd number if you multiply any number with an even number answer will be an even number answer will be an even number odd minus odd it is an even number these not in knowing the concept you should know when to apply this concept even minus odd is odd these number three it is the first acid test that you will perform before solving any of the problems which involves huge calculations number three it's it is an acid test step number one unit digit step number two last two digits step number three digital sum step number four calculation step number five divisibility rule i will take some warm-up questions then i will get into the problem solving now see the first question x square plus 79 square equivalent to 172 square minus 88 square minus 8203 find the value of x x square plus 79 square equivalent to 172 square now generally traditional method most of the students who probably are more towards a formula based solving they will find 79 square 172 square 88 square and they will do the generic mathematical operation these what not i am interested in these what you are also not interested in anil nayar's way of solving how i will solve this question listen carefully how i will solve this question as i told you for every simplification problem for me the focus point is on number three x square 79 is an odd number odd number square it is an odd number 172 it is an even number even number on square it is an even number 88 it even number on square it is an even number 8203 this is an odd number d is an odd number now see here even minus even is even d is nothing but x square equivalent to minus of odd minus odd plus odd am i right 
plus odd if it comes this side. Odd plus odd is even. X square it is even. X value it is even. X value it is even. Odd number, odd number, odd number. Actually, this is an original competitive examination question where three options can be eliminated without even doing anything. Just because of number tree concept. Number tree concept. If we use a number tree concept, x value happens to be an even number. X value happens to be an even number. 89, 83, 93, it is out. This is one way to solve. This is one way to solve. What is the concept that I used? Number tree I used. Next, method number two. Method number two. All the answer options, right? Last two digits are say different. I, 86, 89, 83 and 93. Method two. First, let me check by using the unit digit. Suppose if x is 86 square. 86 square plus 79 square equivalent to 172 square minus 88 square minus 8203 listen carefully to every problem 6 square unit digit is 6 9 square 81 unit digit is 1 2 square it is 4 8 square it is 64 it is minus unit digit is 3 4 minus 4 0 6 plus 1 is 7 minus 3 if you get a unit digit minus 3 you have to add 10 to it because the unit digit of any number unit digit of any number it is nothing but the reminder when you divide a number by 10 so therefore if you get a negative remind negative answer just add with 10 10 minus 3 it is 7 7 equivalent to 7 86 it is matching so 89 83 93 unit digit it is not matching method number 2 it is based on the unit digit of a number i hope the idea it is clear maybe you might get only doubt here 4 minus 4 cancel minus 3 suppose see here for example 31 minus 17 it is there only focus on unit digit 1 it is 7 1 minus 7 it is nothing but minus 6 if you get a negative reminder add 10 to it 10 minus 6 it is nothing but 4 actually the answer for 31 minus 17 it is 14 i hope the idea it is clear only do the unit digit if you get a negative reminder add it with 10 this is method number two method number three method number one is the number tree logic method number two is the unit digit logic method number three method number three last two digits logic last two digits logic various concepts in a single problem 86 square plus 79 square 172 square minus 88 square minus 8203 what is the concept we discussed in simplification session 1 and 2 if i do a number square x square 50 plus or minus x whole square 100 plus or minus x whole square 50 plus or minus x whole square 100 plus or minus x whole square has same last two digit uh, same last two digits 50 plus x whole square 50 minus x whole square 100 plus x whole square 100 minus x whole square last two digits will be same listen carefully without even doing 86 square 79 square how am i doing it please listen carefully 86 square 86 is nothing but 100 minus 14 square so 14 square and 86 square last two digits will be same 14 square is 196 79 79 is 21 less than 100 21 square 441 so 96 plus 41 these are nothing but 137 last two digits in the left hand side is 37 these 72 square 72 is 22 more than 50 22 square is 484 so it is 84 88 88 is 12 less than 100 12 square is 144 minus 03 i hope it is clear right 84 minus 44 40 40 minus 03 these also 37 
Thirty seven equivalent to thirty seven. You can use the unit digit logic. You can use the number tree logic. You can also use the last two digits logic. Again, I am explaining. Eighty six square. Eighty six is fourteen less than hundred. So x is fourteen. Hundred minus fourteen square and fourteen square. Fourteen square is one ninety six. Last two digits is ninety six. Seventy nine is twenty one less than hundred. Twenty one square is four forty one. Seventy so, two is twenty two more than fifty. Twenty two square is four eighty four. Eighty eight is twelve less than hundred. Twelve square is one forty four minus zero three. Eighty four minus forty four forty forty minus zero three thirty seven. 37 equivalent to 37. Even in case if more one more answer option has got an even number, you can safely use unit digit and the last two digits logic. Method number three. Method number four. Method number four. Now I will use the concept of digital sum. I will use the concept of digital sum. Now, what is the concept of digital sum? First problem, introductory problem. All the methods I will discuss. Eighty-six square plus seventy-nine square equivalent to one seventy-two square minus eighty-eight square minus eight two zero three. Eight plus six fourteen. Fourteen is five. Five square is twenty-five. Which is seven? Seventeen nine. Seven plus nine sixteen. Seven. Seven square is fourteen nine four. Seven plus two nine. Omit it. One minus eight plus eight sixteen. Seven. Seven square is fourteen nine. Which is four. Eight plus two ten. Ten plus three thirteen. Thirteen. It is nothing but four. Seven plus four eleven. Eleven is nothing but digital sum two. Left hand side digital sum is two. These are nothing but one minus eight minus seven. Whenever, what do you mean by digital sum? Digital sum of any number is the remainder when you divide a number by nine. Digital sum of any number, it is the remainder when you divide a number by nine. If you get minus seven, add nine to it. Nine minus seven is two. Two equal and two two. I hope the idea it is clear. Eighty six square plus seventy nine square. One seventy-two square minus eighty-eight square eighty-six. Eight plus six is fourteen. One plus four five. Five square is twenty-five. Seven seventeen nine. Seven plus nine sixteen. Seven seven square is forty-nine four. One square one eighty-eight. One plus six eight plus eight sixteen. Seven seven square is forty-nine four. It is four. Seven plus four eleven. Eleven digital sum is two. Unit digit we used. Number tree we used. Last two digits we used. And digital sum also we used. I hope the idea. it is clear i hope the idea it is clear now you can also use first problem right method number 4 divisibility rule you can also use divisibility rule to check whether the answer is right or wrong how to use a divisibility rule let us see put entire 172 square minus 88 square minus 8203 Minus seventy nine square. Now, if you see one seventy two, it is divisible by four. La divisibility rule of four is last two digit should be divisible by four. This is divisible by four. This is a reminder. Three. This is a reminder three. I hope it is clear. Seventy nine four ninety four twenty seventy nine. Square divided by four. These are nothing but four twenties are eighty minus one square. These gives a remainder one divisible by four divisible by four. Remainder three remainder one. So entire number left hand side it should be divisible by four. Left hand side it should be divisible by four. Eighty six square. Eighty six divided by four. Four twos are eight. Four ones are four. Four twenty ones are eighty four. Two square. It is divisible by four. You don't need to do all these. Two into forty three square divisible by four. Two square is four. Two 
फोर फोर इंटू एनी नंबर वेन डिवाइडेड बै फोर रिमैंडर इट ईज जीरो ई हॉप इट ईज क्लियर वन क्वेश्चन मल्टीपल एंगल आफ लुकिंग एट दट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज ई रोड द हेडिंग दट यू कैन यूज यूनिट डिजिट लास्ट टू डू डिजिट यू कैन यूज डिजिटल सम यू कैन यूज डिविजिबिलिटी रूल यू कैन यूज number 3 all the concepts are used i don't want you to find out 79 square 172 square and waste time i hope everybody those who are watching kindly reply it in the live chat if this concept is clear to you question number 1 attacking it through multiple concepts the more and more simplification problems you solve it the more and more practice you will get and the more and more better understanding of the concept you get everybody kindly reply it in the live chat if this question it is clear to you question number 2 now see here 14 percentage of 80 14 percentage of 80 plus x percentage of 90 this kind of problems are extremely important for di based questions also where the percentage it is involved 14 percentage of 80 x percentage of 90 There is nothing but now if you see fourteen by hundred it is point eight. There is x into point nine equivalent to thirty one point nine. Anil Nair's way of solving the question. How I solved this question? Right when this question was given to me fourteen into point eight x into point nine equivalent to thirty one point nine. Nothing I did. I just did the unit digit. Unit digit and solve the question in five seconds time. Now see here, four into eight thirty two two. This unit digit is nine. This unit digit. Suppose if I take this should be seven actually because two plus seven only can give me nine. This is twenty three. If I take twenty three. 3 into 9 is 27. So option is 23. Finish. Just by looking at the question itself, I got the answer. Again, I am repeating. 14 percentage of 80. 14 into 0.8. X into 90 by 100 is 0.9. Equal to 13 1.9. 48 are 32. Here it is 2. Here it is nine. Two plus something it is nine. That something should be seven. So three nines are twenty-seven. Three nines are twenty-seven. Unit digit has to be seven. So it will be twenty-three. I hope it is clear. Right? You don't need to solve it in any other way. Even to cross-check also, you can do it by using method number two. Digital sum approach. Method number two. Digital sum approach. Let us go by the answer options. Now, if you see here, digital sum approach. Fourteen percentage of eighty plus twenty-three percentage of ninety equivalent to thirteen one point nine. I am taking second option. I will check whether left hand side digital sum is equivalent to right hand side digital sum. This is nothing but fourteen into eighty by hundred. Twenty-three into ninety by hundred. Equivalent to thirty one point nine. I told you, new digital sum can also be applied for fractions. If the denominator is one, keep it as it is. If it is two, multiply the numerator and denominator with five. If it is five, four. Multiply the numerator and denominator with seven. Logic is denominator digital sum should be one. Denominator if the digital sum is eight. Multiply the numerator and denominator with eight. Idea is to make the denominator digital sum as one. Idea it is to make the denominator digital sum as one. Make the denominator digital sum one. When the denominator digital sum is three six or nine, these digital sum concepts can all be used because it becomes a recurring decimal. Hundred it is one. Fourteen. Now if you see here. Fourteen. It is five. Five eights are forty. It is four. Two plus three five. Five nines are forty-five. 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 It is nine. Nine plus four thirteen. One plus three four. This is nine. Three plus one four. Four equivalent to four. Digital sum is matching. Digital sum is matching. 
i hope the idea it is clear everybody you can use digital sum logic or you can use unit digit logic don't waste your time in multiplying with the percentages and getting the answer that is waste of time anything that is a waste of time i will not discuss and i don't want you to solve this one 65 whole square plus 101 whole square minus 23 whole square again anil nayar's way of looking at this problem i am not interested in solving it directly 65 square that also in case if you want me to solve i will solve it but i want you to develop an approach through my live classes 65 it is an odd number odd number on square it is an odd number 101 it is an odd number odd number on square it is an odd number 23 it is an odd number odd number on square it is an odd number odd plus odd even even minus odd even minus odd it is nothing but an odd number answer should be an odd number first option out second option out and e option out i hope it is clear next one what is the concept that we discussed x square 50 plus or minus x whole square 100 plus or minus x whole square 50 into any natural number it could be 150 plus x or 200 plus x and everything x square 50 plus or minus x or 100 plus or minus x whole square has the same last two digits has same last two digits that is enough for you to solve the question 65 is 15 more than 50 15 square is 225 25 101 is one more than 100 0 1 23 square is 529 it is minus 29 26 minus 29 which is minus 3 whenever you are finding the last two digits last two digits of any number is the reminder when you divide a number by 100 min 100 minus 3 last two digits should be 97 these out i hope it is clear right very easy if you know the number tree concept you eliminated odd plus odd is even even minus odd is odd first option out second b option out and e option out then i used the logic x square 50 plus or minus x whole square 100 plus or minus x whole square has same last two digits 65 is 15 more than 50 15 square is 225 101 is one more than 100 one square is 0 1 23 square is 529 it is 29 25 plus 1 20 26 minus 29 is minus 3 negative reminder minus 3 positive reminder it is nothing but 100 minus 3 97 only option number c it is right i hope it is clear these anil nayar's way of solving the question using the last two digits and number tree logic you can solve it in through many ways now let us see it let us see it let me see if i can use a divisibility rule to solve this question divisibility rule let me check this is out this is out and it is out now see here 65 square 65 square plus 101 square minus 23 square now let us go by using the divisibility rule for 5 divisibility rule for 5 now 4 4 4 3 anything you can take 4 16s are 64 reminder 1 4 25s are 100 reminder 1 4 5s are 23 3 square is 9 9 divided by 4 reminder 1 answer when divided by 4 it should give a reminder 1 87 for 21s are 84 it gives a reminder 3 so option number d it is out i hope it is clear right idea it is clear now in case if you check by using divisibility rule by 3 3 to 21s are 63 2 square 4 reminder 1 2 square 4 reminder 1 2, 2 plus 3 5 3 twos are 3 ones are 3 2 square 4 reminder 1 answer when divided by 3 it should give a reminder 1 9 3 out 
थ्री टू जार सिक्स रिमैंडर वन नौ इफ यू ई हॉप इट इज क्लियर डिविजिबिलिटी रूल यू कैन यूज लास्ट टू डिजिट यू कैन यूज नंबर ट्री लाजि यू कैन यूज यू प्राक्टीज एज मेनी प्रॉब्लम एज पॉसिबल देन यू टेक एनी मेथड दट कम्स इन टू युअर मैंड ई हॉप दिस प्रॉब्लम इज क्लियर एव्रीबडी कईंडली रिप्ले प्लीज डोंट शो युअर मैथमेटिकल इंटेलीजेंस एंड साव सिक्सटी फाइव स्क्वेर रीज फोर टू टू फाइव वन जीरो वन स्क्वेर रीज वन जीरो टू जीरो वन ट्वेंटी थ्री स्क्वेर रीज फाइव ट्वेंटी नाइन Five twenty-nine. Don't use these problem and solve it. Look at it. Most of the questions that comes in your examination are very very easy question. Don't complicate yourself by not missing on the fundamentals. Everybody, it is clear. Next problem. Now see here. Next one. Everybody kindly reply. I would like to see the live charts if there are any questions. If there are any questions, kindly reply. kindly reply if everybody it is clear to you right now one concept please write down digital sum can also be used for fractions numerator by denominator if the denominator digital sum is 2 you can do wonders in weighted average multiplied by 5 If it is four, multiply it by seven. If it is eight, multiply it with eight. Now see here in weighted average problems, I have seen a lot of students doing right in a very long method. Now see seven kgs of tea costing two eighty per kg. Every kg it is two eighty rupees. So seven into two eighty nine kg of tea costing two forty rupees. It is a nine into two forty. Here seven kgs, then nine kgs. Total how many kgs I purchased? Sixteen. This is the equation. What the students will do is they will solve this equation. You don't need to solve this equation. Sixteen. What is the digital sum? Seven. Multiply it with four. Numerator and denominator. Multiply it with four. So four into seven into two eighty. Plus nine into two forty divided by seven into four twenty eight. It is one. If I add nine or multiples of nine to any number, digital sum does not changes. Forty one plus twenty seven, which is sixty eight. These digital sum is five. These digital sum is five. If you add nine or multiples of nine to any number, digital sum does not change. You don't need to waste your time here. Four seven zero twenty eight. Four seven zero twenty eight. Digital sum is one. Two eighty. It is one. One plus nine ten. Ten. It is one. Answer. Digital sum should be one. Answer digital sum should be one. Eight two plus five seven twelve twenty. It is not possible. Seven plus two nine. Five plus five five plus five. It is nothing but ten. Ten digital sum. It is nothing but one. Ten digital sum. It is nothing but one. I hope the idea it is clear. B, C, and D. I will tell you an another method. What if more than one answer option has the same digital sum one? I hope it is clear. Sixteen digital sum is seven. If the denominator digital sum is seven, multiply the numerator and denominator with four. Four four. So four into nine into any number digital sum is nine. When you add nine or a multiples of nine to any number, digital sum is unaffected. So this is a wastage of time for me. Four seven zero twenty eight twenty eight digital sum is one one into one one answer digital sum it is nothing but one so second option five plus five ten here seven plus two it is eight seven plus two nine six plus five eleven one plus one two there could be more than one answer option with the digital sum one also in that case first I will discuss an example first I will discuss an example now see here. This is again an original question. Sixty-eight kgs of rice costing sixty-three rupees is combined with eighty-five kgs of rice costing eighty-one rupees. Find the weighted average. Find the weighted average. Find the weighted average. Sixty-eight kgs of rice costing sixty-three rupees is combined with eighty-five kgs of rice costing eighty-one. 
what students will do it is because of ignorance because of not knowing the concept 68 into 63 plus 81 into 85 total kgc is 68 plus 85 which is nothing but 153 they will unnecessarily solve this question now see here average always lies between average always lies between lowest value and highest value am i right average always lies between lowest value and an highest value now if you see here suppose if i see 68 kg 63 average is greater than the lowest value if it is 63 63 63 deviation is 0 81 63 deviation is 18 18 into 85 divided by 153 17 fives are 17 nines are 9 ones are 9 twos are 63 plus 10 answer is nothing but 73 answer is nothing but 73 single step you will get the answer sir can i take highest value average is always lesser than the highest value 63 is 18 less than 81 minus 18 into 68 81 81 deviation is 0 divided by 153 17 fours are 17 nines are 9 ones are 9 twos are 81 minus 8 it is nothing but 73 average is greater than the lowest value average is lesser than the highest value you can use any concept you will get the answer i hope it is clear let me take in a new fresh slide so that these concept two or three examples if you understand it will be clear what i did is listen carefully sir none of these concepts you will find it in the regular textbook 68 kgs of rice costing 63 rupees is combined with 85 kgs costing 81 rupees what i did answer always lies between the lowest value and the highest value so first i will write the equation 63 into 68 plus 81 into 85 total kgs is 68 plus 85 average is greater than the highest value 63 plus 63 63 deviation is 0 81 63 deviation is 18 18 into 85 divided by 153 17 fives are 17 nines are i hope it is clear so answer final step which we got it as 5 by 9 into 80 for me this step is important to avoid this step for me any question the fastest easiest and the best method <laughs> right now see here how am i going to solve how am i going to solve whenever two quantities are combined whenever two quantities are combined what what will happen if more than one answer option has the same digital sum a smart student will get definitely get these doubt that is the reason this explanation whenever two quantities are combined ratio in which they are combined only matters ratio in which they are combined ratio in which they are combined only matters only we require the ratio in which they are combined 17 fours are 68 17 fives are 85 we don't require the number quantities in which they are combined ratio is enough right now see here these equations see here 63 plus 5 by 9 into 18 directly you will get 63 plus average is greater than the lowest value if it is lowest value take the opposite ratio 5 by combine both of them 5 plus 4 9 81 and 63 what is the deviation 18 this is exactly the answer which we got sir can i take the highest value average is less than the highest value so 81 minus if you are taking 63 take this ratio if you are taking 81 4 by 4 plus 5 is 9 
81.63. What is the deviation? 18. 9 ones are 9 twos are. 9 ones are 9 twos are. 63 plus 10, 73. 81 minus 8, 73. In both the cases, you will get the answer. Extremely important point. Only ratio matters. Actually, that will become a foundation for allegation problems. Whenever two quantities are combined, the ratio in which they are combined only matters. I don't want the total consumption. This is a redundant value for me. This equation don't show your mathematical intelligence and solve this question. I hope it is clear. Two or three examples, if you solve it, it will be extremely clear. Then you can develop your own questions. Average is greater than the lowest value. Average is lesser than the highest value. Greater than the lowest value lesser than the highest value that is the reason 63 plus and 81 minus three more examples so that you will understand this concept thoroughly 20 liters of 23 rupees per liter is combined with 25 liters of another variety of milk which costs 32 rupees what is the weighted average weighted average after listening to my concept you will be able to solve this question orally there is nothing but consumption ratio only matters five fours are five fives are average is greater than the lowest value 23 plus 5 by 9 32 and 23 difference is 9 23 plus 5 Answer is nothing but 28. Sir, can I take highest value? Average is less than the highest value. 32 minus 4 by 9 into 9. 32 minus 4. What is the answer? Yeah, 28. How much it will take? Maximum 10 seconds to solve. If you know this approach. 5 fours are 5 fives are average is greater than everybody tells you that average lies between lowest value and highest value but students need to know when are you applying this concept 23 plus 5 by 9 into 9 32 minus 4 by 9 into 9 i hope it is clear few more examples 30 liters 30 liters it is combined with 40 liters. This is 28 rupees and it is 35. Drop your pens and say the answer. 10 threes are 10 fours are 28 plus 4 by 7 into 7. This is nothing but 32. This is nothing but 32. Actually, what am I doing is, see here, I am actually using the concept of allegations inherently without even showing you. What is that concept is? Lowest is P1. Highest is P2. Average always lies between lowest and highest. Highest minus average. By average minus lowest. This is nothing but the ratio in which it is combined. Q1 by Q2 equivalent to P2 minus P by P minus P1. In case if you forgot the concept, you can use Answer options and you can do. Lowest is 28. Highest is 35. If I combine it, average is 32. What is the ratio? 35 minus 2 is 3. 32 minus 24 is 4. 3 is to 4. That is what we need the ratio. That is exactly 30 by 40. 30 by 40 will become a simplest form 3 is to 4, right? That is exactly the reason. The ratio in which they are combined is what matters to me more than the consumption. I hope it is clear. You can go by the answer to the question also. You can go by the ratio approach also. You can go by the digital sum approach also if the same question if it is in digital sum 28 into 30 plus 35 into 40 divided by 30 plus 40 it is 70 denominator digital sum is 7 multiply with 4 numerator and denominator 7 fours are 28 4 into 28 digital sum is 1 30 digital sum is 3 35 digital sum is 8. 40 digital sum is 4. 4 into 1 into 3, it is 3. 4 8s are 32. 32 digital sum is 5. 
5 plus 3, 8. 8 fours are 32. 3 plus 2, 5. Answer digital sum should be 5. You can use a digital sum concept in weighted average. You can use ratio concept in weighted average. Ratio concept in weighted average. I hope it is clear. I hope it is clear. Most likely till tomorrow also I will upload 3 or 4 more videos on simplification because simplification is one topic. If you are good in understanding how to solve numerical problems, my job becomes extremely easy when I am starting arithmetic. That is exactly the reason why I am doing simplification problems before arithmetic. Otherwise, you will end up doing lot of percentages problems. Simplification, if it is, you are extremely good in simplification. You are extremely good in simplification. You can use it in time and work problems. You can use it in time speed and distance problems. You can use it in simple interest problems. You can use it in compound interest problems. You can use it in ages problems, ratio, proportion and variation problems. You can use it in partnership problems. You can also use it in number system related problems. Huge application is there. By tomorrow evening, at least 5 to 6 hours of simplification, I will do it. Watch these entire videos. Then it will be extremely easy for you. How it is useful in simple interest? See here. Principle, it is 240. Time period, it is 3 years. R percentage, it is 12.5 percentage. What is simple interest? Simple interest is... PTR percentage. This is what most of them will use. 240 into 3 into 12.5 percentage is 1 by 8. 830 is our 240. 33 is our 90. Simple interest is 90. You can actually keep an eye on the answer options. Now see here. 240 into 3. This is nothing but 12.5 divided by 100. 100 digital sum is 1. 240, it is 6. 6 into 3 into 12.5, it is 8. 6 threes are 18. 18, it is 9. 9 into any number. Answer digital sum should be 9. Answer digital sum should be 9. Just I am giving a glimpse today. Right? Once you start listening to of the arithmetic class, you will be mesmerized. You will see arithmetic problems getting solved it in seconds. 240 into 3 into 12.5. I hope the idea it is clear. No more percentage to fractions if you are good in this one. Right? Slowly I will solve CI as ages related problems also. Weighted average. Where are we right now actually? We are in weighted average. What if more than one answer option has the same digital sum? Now if you see here, 7 kgs of rice costing 280 rupees is combined with 9 kgs of rice costing 240 rupees. Average is always greater than the lowest value. 240 plus 7 by 16 into what is the difference? 40. I hope it is clear. So, these is nothing but 8 fives are 40 and it is 8 twos are 16. 240 plus 35 by 2 which is 17.5 answer is 257.5 i hope it is clear to you how to use a digital sum application in weighted average everybody kindly reply if this idea it is clear to you if you know the shortcut also average is greater than the lowest value 240 plus 7 by 16 into change is 40. 8 fives are 8 twos are 35 by 2. It is 17.5. Answer is 257.5. You can use a digital sum. You can use average always lies between. Average always lies between lowest value and the highest value. I hope this concept it is clear. Another variety. Most of the students probably spend a lot of time wasting their time. If you get a right teacher, if you watch the right videos with as many examples as possible, this is very clear. 1 by 0 0.1 digital sum is 1. 0 0.01 digital sum is 1. 
पॉइंट फाइव स्क्वायर पॉइंट फाइव इनटू पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव डिजिटल सम विल नॉट बी अफेक्टेड इफ इट इज डेसिमल फाइव इनटू फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव डिजिटल सम इज सेवन इफ द डिनोमिनेटर डिजिटल सम इज सेवन मल्टीप्लाई द न्यूमरेटर विद फोर दैट इज व्हाट वी डिस्कस्ड हियर आल्सो इट इज फोर फोर बाय सेवन इनटू फोर दिस वन 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 सो टू प्लस एट व्हिच इज नथिंग बट टेन व्हिच इज नथिंग बट टेन आई होप द आइडिया इट इज क्लियर टेन डिजिटल सम इज नथिंग बट वन B, C, and D. All are right. Answer is one zero five zero four. Are you all with me? Answer is one zero five zero four. Idea, it is clear, right? Now you can also convert point five into as one by two. Point zero five into as one by twenty, and you can use it. That is the traditional method. Idea is to tell you how to use the digital sum problems in terminating decimal. Five square is twenty five. Digital sum is seven. Multiply the numerator and denominator with four. Twenty five seven. Multiply the numerator and denominator with seven. I hope this idea it is clear. Now you can use optimization. because this series is a decreasing series you can use optimization method for a decreasing series or you can also use digital sum because denominator it is a digital sum is to multiply by 5 1 by 0.2 1 by it is nothing but 1 by 5 which is 5 suppose if i take two decimals 1 by 0.2 by 1 by 0.02 First is five and next is fifty. Two by hundred, it is fifty-five. So if it is written once, I got the answer five. If it is written twice, I got the answer fifty-five. If it is written thrice, I will get the answer triple five. If it is written nine times, I will get the answer five written nine times. Five written nine times. I hope it is clear. This can be eliminated. This can be eliminated. This can be eliminated. So answer by using optimization technique. Within ten seconds, you will get the logic that the answer is five written nine times. Or in case if you want to check whether option C is right or wrong, digital sum in the denominator it is two. Multiply the the numerator and denominator with five. Five 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 five, five. added nine times. So it is. Five nines are forty-five. Forty-five digital sum should be nine. Check it out whether the digital sum is nine. One, two, three, four, five is written nine times. Five, right? Five nines are forty-five. Answer: digital sum is nine. I hope it is clear. Whenever the series is a decreasing series, whenever the series is a decreasing series, use optimization method. Please go back and see the. Series problems solved in Anil Nair's way, where almost 10 to 15 problems I used optimization problems. I hope this idea it is clear. Next one, M is nothing but 0.1, 1 it is 1, it is 1. Digital sum for M is nothing but 3. n is nothing but 0.3 it is 3 9 plus any number digital sum will not change digital sum is 3 m plus n 3 plus 3 answer digital sum should be 6 4 plus 3 7 9 this is not possible this is not possible this is not possible 411009 i hope the idea it is clear right or you can probably go by the unit digit logic 1 Three one one nine. You can go by the unit digit logic. This is point one. This is point zero one. This is point zero 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 one. I hope it is clear. This is nothing but point three. This is nothing but point triple zero nine. This is nothing but six nine. now if you see here this is nothing but 0.1101 it is only till four digits but it is till six digits unit digit has to be nine if you if there is more than one answer option with the same digital sum go by the unit digit logic go by the unit digit logic i hope it is clear right go by the unit digit logic suppose if the option is like this 0.211 Double zero nine. If it is a logic, 
go by the divisibility rule multiple logics are there for us to eliminate the problem go by the divisibility rule logic what is the divisibility rule divisible by 3 divisible by 3 divisible by 3 reminder 1 reminder 1 reminder 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 answer is divisible by 3 m is divisible by 3 n should be divisible by 3 9 2 plus 1 plus 1 4 is not divisible by 3 so you can eliminate any answer option if the digital sum if the digital sum is same use the unit digit logic if the unit digit is same use the divisibility rule logic i hope the idea it is clear now another one 45 square plus 21 square equivalent to question mark whole square plus 257 question mark whole square now we will use the concept of a perfect square here then we will perfect square this is method number one then i will discuss multiple methods 45 square 5 less than 50 5 square is 25 21 square 441 it is x square plus it is nothing but 57 i am using the perfect square in simpler language i am using the last two digits logic these nothing but 66 these 66 so this should be 9 which answer option on square i am giving that if it is 47 square 47 is 50 minus 3 square x square 50 minus x square last two digits will be same so answer is nothing but 47 last two digits will easily help us to get the answer i hope it is clear next one now see here this is one way to solve it another way to solve it method number two method number two unit digit logic you can look at a simplification problem from a multiple angles unit digit logic 5 square is 25 21 square it is 1 these are nothing but x square and it is 7 5 plus 1 is 6 6 minus 7 is x square minus 1 if you are using unit digit unit digit means add 10 to it it is 9 so x square has to give you 9 so x unit digit will be either 3 or 7 x unit digit will be either 3 or 7 this is not possible this is not possible i hope it is clear right so 3 or 7 sir what if the answer is 43 that also a smart student can ask a doubt if the option is 43 then use the concept of digital sum multiple concepts are there what i said at the beginning don't forget it sir so 45 square plus 21 square equivalent to if i take 47 square plus 257 now see here this is divisible by 9 this is divisible by 9 left hand side digital sum it is 9 right hand side digital sum should be in 9 4 plus 7 11 11 digital sum is 2 2 square it is 4 2 plus 7 out 4 plus 5 9 here the digital sum is not matching here the digital sum is not matching i hope the idea it is clear right so answer is 47 divisibility rules is important unit digit it is important last two digits it is important right and using digital sum it is also important idea clear next one 65 percentage of 400 plus root of question mark is 44 percentage of 800 minus 12 percentage of 400 anil nayar's way of solving the question how i solved this question this was typically taken from bank related examination i took just 5 to 10 seconds to solve the question right what i did is it is root of any number root of any number now see here root of any number this is an integer this is an integer 100 to zeros cancel 100 to zeros cancel 100 to zeros cancel that means this should result in an integer for it to result in an integer this should be a perfect square this should be a perfect square 
Now see here. Any perfect square ending with 5. Tens place should be 2. Option C and option D it is out. A perfect square digital sum. A perfect square digital sum is 1, 4, 7 or 9. 44 it is out. Not means none of the above answer option. 1936 it is a perfect square you can also check it out option a will give you the answer not means any one out of the any four one nine three six it is a perfect square let us see if it is this question can be nullified into 65 into 4 it is root of 1936 in simplification session number one i discussed how to find out the square root of a perfect square and a non-perfect square these 44 into 8 minus 12 into 4 listen carefully sir these 260 it is 60 root of 1936 please watch my previous videos on simplification session 1 and session 2 the so that you will understand how to find the cube root of a perfect cube and a cube root of a non-perfect cube 8 fours are 32 these 52 minus 48 minus 48 60 plus 44 104 0 4 equivalent to 0 4 it is matching answer is 1936 by solving more and more simplification problems your di will become extremely easy i hope this idea it is clear to you next one 45 percentage of 300 plus root equivalent to 56 percentage of 750 wantedly i kept this question why because i want more than one answer option to satisfy this this square root it is a perfect square it is a perfect square now see here now listen carefully here now you can go by the answer digital sum approach also which i did not discussed in the previous problem that also we will discuss digital sum approach 9 into any number it is a 9 9 plus root of question mark equivalent to 7 plus 5 12 which is 3 5 plus 6 11 11 it is 2 2 into 3 2 into 3 minus 350 it is nothing but 8 root of question mark equivalent to 6 minus 8 minus 9 it makes no difference if you add 9 or <laughs> any multiples of 9 answer will be root of question mark it is nothing but minus 2 minus 2 it is nothing but 7 because i am using digital sum add it with 9 so question mark it is nothing but 7 square 7 square is 49 4 plus 9 13 1 plus 3 4 answer digital sum should be 4 it is not possible it is not possible it is not possible i hope it is clear let us check if b is the answer option not could also mean none of the above answer options it is right anyway it is a perfect square if it is a perfect square the digital sum of a perfect square is always 1 4 7 or 9 digital sum of a perfect square is always 1 4 7 or 9 these 8 not possible these 5 not possible so this could be possible this could be possible but the digital sum is 4 so this is not possible i hope it is clear now let us cross check whether we are getting the answer or not suppose if i take 6 to 5 double 0 6 under root of 6 to 5 double 0 this is nothing but 625 it is 20 root of 625 25 it is 250 so what it will become 45 into 3 plus 250 equivalent to equivalent to now what you can do is 56 into 56 into this is nothing but 7.5 minus 10 percentage it is 35 it is nothing but 35 you can check by using the digital sum this is nothing but 135 plus 250 plus 250 plus 35 it is nothing but 56 into 7.5 7.5 7.5 can i write it or 7.5 is 1.5 into 10 by 2 am i right 
so 228 sir 28 into 10 280 280 into 3 by 2 which is nothing but 420 let us check these nothing but 385 385 plus 35 which is nothing but 420 it is matching so the answer is 62500 answer is nothing but 62500 i hope the idea it is clear now this question see you have to be extremely smart in picking the numbers see what i said 9 into any number 9 into any number what will be the digital sum in the answer it is a 9 9 7s are 63 9 14s are 126 again the digital sum is a 9 45 it is a 9 9 into any number 9 into any number left hand side digital sum is a 9 right hand side also digital sum should be 9 7 plus 2 9 4 plus o oh. 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 3, 9. These itself it is 9. These itself it is 9. 9 into any number. Any number if you multiply answer digital sum will be 9. So just see the numbers. These 9, these 9, these also 9. So digital sum cannot be used. Check the last two digits. 25, 45, 0, 0. 25, 45, 0, 0. And it is 350 now if you see here listen carefully these nothing but 45 into 234 are you all with me 81 into 453 these nothing but an integer these nothing but an integer this should be an integer so the only choice is 100 percentage of 47223 100% means 100 by 100 it is 1 think logically 25% of 47223 it will be in decimal 145 percentage it will be 145 into 47223 these actually a 5 seconds question if you are just smart in identifying that this is an integer percentage two zeros percentage two zeros 45 into 234 81 into 453 this should be an integer so the only option is 100 percentage idea it is clear so root of 23 plus 2 into 0 2 into 208 into 0, 0, 001 you can use all the unit digits are different so method 1 let us see the unit digit let us see the unit digit what will happen 2 ones are 2 2 plus 3 5 root of 5 answer unit digit should be 5 option is 645 unit digit in the left hand side it is 5 right hand side also it will be 5 because root of 625 it is 25 root of 2025 it is 45 under root if it is 5 is there and it is a perfect square right right hand side unit digit also it is 5 now these method number one method number two digital sum if i use a digital sum remove that under root 23 plus 2 into 208 double zero one equivalent to 645 whole square 645 whole square 23 digital sum is 5 2 plus 8 plus 1 9 it is 2 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 5 9 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 5 15 15 it is 6 6 square 36 36 digital sum is 9 digital sum is also matching unit digit also it is matching method number 3 you can use any method of your choice sir method number 3 last two digits you can also use last two digits logic last two digits what will happen to last two digits 23 plus 2 into 208001 so these nothing but 23 plus 2 ones are 2 these 0 2 these nothing but 25 under root of i will write it in a right mathematical way these nothing but these nothing but x ending with 25 x ending with 25 if you take 645 these nothing but x ending with 25 
equivalent to 645 whole square 64 it is an even number even number ending with 5 into even number ending with 5 last two digits will always be 25 you can also use by using the last two digits logic last two digits logic even 5 into even 5 25 even 5 into even 5 last two digits is always 25 odd 5 into odd 5 last two digits is 25 even 5 into odd 5 last two digits it is 75 make a note of it which i discussed in detail in simplification session number one and two those of you who have not seen session number one and two right after the class please complete session number one and two because tomorrow don't keep anything pending tomorrow i will do few more sessions so that we are all ready with solving a lot of problems through a different prism i hope it is clear 645 or you wanted to solve it in another model method number four i have lot of models to solve a problem as an author of nine mathematical books i can look into a problem through a different angle always divisibility rule if i use a divisibility rule if i remove square 23 plus 2 into 208001 equivalent to 546 whole square i squared on both the sides now if you see here use the divisibility rule by 4 4 5s are 20 remainder 3 these nothing but remainder 1 1 2s are 2 3 plus 2 5 5 and divided by 4 remainder 1 this is an even number even number on square it will be even number on square it will be divisible by 4 i hope it is clear right or otherwise we forgot the basic similarly even number on square even number on square even number on square you can also use method number 5 which is a number tree number tree concept it is a root of 23 it is an odd number 2 into any number it is an even number odd plus even it is an odd number root of odd number answer will always be an odd number answer will always be an odd number so answer is right root of even plus odd number 546 642 640 512 that can be eliminated five different ways of solving this problem five different concepts through which you can look at this problem i hope the concept it is clear now see eight percentage of eight percentage of 960 eight percentage of 960 percentage is by 100 move it to the right hand side 8 into 960 plus x into 976 equivalent to into 100 right 69168 69168 now let us do by using unit first all the unit digits are different so if the unit digits are different these are nothing but 8 these are nothing but 8 zeros are 0 these are nothing but 6 6 3s are 18 so answer is 63 through unit digit direct just by looking at the question itself you are getting 8 into 960 plus x into 976 by 100 if it comes to the right hand side 69168 these unit digit is 8 these 0 3 into 6 these one way to solve it another way last two digits 8 into 960 8 into 960 one minute sir 8 into 960 now see here another way to look at this problem method number one it is the unit digit method number one unit digit we got the answer method number two divisibility rule method number two divisibility rule listen carefully sir listen carefully 960 it is divisible by 8 into 960 plus x into 976 equivalent to 69168 listen carefully 960 it is divisible by 3 divisible by 3 
9 divisible by 3 divisible by 3 this is divisible by 3 9 this is not divisible by 3 x should be divisible by 3 only option which makes it divisible by 3 answer is 63 i hope the idea it is clear method number one by using unit digit method number two by using divisibility rule method number three by using digital sum by using a digital sum now see here 8 percent 8 into 960 digital sum is 6 63 it is a 9 9 into anything digital sum is a 9 6 9 1 6 8 9 out 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 6 13 13 plus 8 21 2 plus 1 3 6 8 are 48 4 plus 8 12 1 plus 2 3 unit digit you can do divisibility rule you can do divis digital sum also you can do it i hope the idea it is clear all the various problems this is what exactly i wanted to convey in all these problems now see here all these problems what is that we discussed what we discussed in all the problems is unit digit logic if the answer option keep an eye on answer option if none of the answer option has the same unit digit use unit digit otherwise if you are struck use last two digits use a divisibility rules concept use the divisibility rules concept right if none of these is working and all the answer option digital sum are different use a digital sum then finally you can use speed calculation these also first few classes i am concentrating more on these problems next few classes i will concentrate on what if all these things backfire i hope you enjoyed this class in